Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I will have another episode of Toronto Vlog video and I will walk along King Street from A and King to we are walking westbound. And I'll walk about 45 minutes or so, so I don't have any fixed destination, but I'll try to reach close to Ossington Station. And along the way, we are going to cut through fashion district or garment district, and then lots of uh, boutique condos, restaurants, lots of stores. And this is going to be a nice walk. So watch till the end of the video and I'll talk uh, throughout the video and this is not necessarily going to be just you know talking about the streets and passing so it's going to be talking in general and this is a good time to connect with my subscribers so I'll talk about various topics so the weather is very nice it's cold but not too windy so we are staying at about zero degree today or it could be minus five in that range so right now this is bay and king so i passed bay street and walking eastbound and the streetcar you're looking at is the 504 streetcar which cuts through the downtown along king street and you'll see lots of skyscrapers tall buildings along the way but due to COVID and the lockdown, the street is comparatively quieter. The restaurants are empty. So let's look at some of the all buildings. Has anyone ever said that to you? So today is Saturday around 2 o'clock. These guys are still working on a Saturday. So this is York Street. And it's empty. So if this is your first time watching this video, 
on this channel I do a variety of videos including some vlog videos but I do have travel videos from other parts of the world so if you go through the playlist you'll be able to see travel videos from Australia New Zealand Asia Africa and I do videos on also some tech videos so I don't believe in the model that you know I have to stick to just one topic or subject so for that reason definitely this is this channel is different than any other channel and another thing to mention that you will not find any affiliated links so I don't believe in that model as well but for those if you'd like to support the channel there's going to be a link in the description box below support me so definitely you can visit that so we are at the corner of university and king and let's let me show you around here a little bit Passing University Avenue. I'm going to show you around here. Other side of University Avenue. So there is a church here, this is St. Andrew's Church and it looks very old. And the dome-like building on the left is Roy Thompson Hall and you can actually see a glimpse of the CN Tower in between those two tall buildings. So this street is the dividing point between financial district and entertainment district. So we are entering the entertainment district on the left and on the right we get past financial district. So if you compare my other or older videos with today's video, probably you'll notice the, the videos is a bit more stabilized because I'm using a gimbal. So definitely you'll see the difference. It's way cheaper.
there's going to be a lot of restaurants along the way but all of them are closed but still some of them are offering only takeout services So it looks like I'm the only one person walking on this block right now, which is hard to believe in the heart of downtown Toronto. So passing entertainment district, and there's a small view on the other street. So coming up the Toronto International Film Festival building, so this is the corner of John and King. So this is the building right here. And it could glimpse up the other side of the street. Take a look at the strikes paper. So this is the TIFF building. And you can see lots of restaurants on the other side. But all of them are closed. This is the entrance to the building. And the TIFF gift store or shop. The other side, more restaurants. Woodmar Street, Ritman Square. A quick glimpse of the street. I have my gloves with me, but I put them in the bag. I'm not wearing them right now, so still it's, you know, I can tolerate this cold. So I, I am, a fire truck is coming up. So let's take a look at it.
Hyatt Regency Hotel. Whenever there's an emergency vehicle, would it be fire truck or police or ambulance? You see the traffic and pedestrian, they freeze. So you have to let the emergency vehicles go through first. So another construction, corner of Peter Street. A glimpse of Peter Street on the other side. So I'll try to give you, provide you a video which is going to be uncut. So this is continuous walking for 45 minutes to let's say one hour. I don't cut unless it's absolutely necessary to cut some. Of them. Along the way, you'll see five or four seat cars. Come and go. So here's a curbside pickup. More restaurants on the left side. Charlotte Street. This, but not sure what is this. So you can see the changing faces of the buildings. We are entering, we are kind of leaving the newer skyscrapers to smaller old buildings. Paran Avenue is coming up. So this is the avenue that cut, cuts through Chinatown. Corner of Esperanza and King. We have 22 seconds to cross. Let's try. And along the way, you can see Esperanza. We made it, and this is the other side of Esperanza. Lots of restaurants, most of them are closed.
Patagonia store. Nice alley. Street. So this is Brant Street. On the left side, some construction. There's lots of restaurants on the left. Across the street, we have five seconds. And we on the other side. Restaurant district. Usually, this time on Saturday is really crowded, but you can see it's really empty. Only some people are picking up from the curbside. Let's take a look on the left.
Bathurst Street coming up, corner of Bathurst and King. This is very close to my home. I usually come here just by walking. A quick glimpse of going to be a little bit long light another 15 seconds and the bar on the corner actually is, looks like the oldest bar in Toronto that's the name the Tor Toronto's oldest bar Sign is up. We passed the downtown core, now we're heading towards West Park. You're going to notice less buildings and you know buildings are older. I can set the street coming up. Hello. Try to get the light.
So this restaurant has nice outside display. But actually, I'm sure it's not a restaurant. It looks like half restaurant and half coffee shop and other stores. But looks like they share the same outside decoration. So today I'm going to post another video from Egypt travel and the video you're watching right now is going to be actually after that so if you like travel videos definitely can check out more travel videos on the channel Usually each year I go to a few places. This is both to travel and to make videos and pictures. But 2020 was an exceptional year. I just stayed within Canada and stayed within Ontario. So I just you know went some close places near Toronto. But this year, which is 2021, I'm planning to do some trip in Asia depending on the situations so Nagra Street Stanley Park on the left. And looks like another park on the right. So this place is close to the Liberty Village. Right, because we were in that in the Liberty Village area. So another glimpse of the park. Trafford Street, smallest street rather, and some residential buildings on the left. Lots of restaurants here too, 
and I can actually smell food right now. So it looks like we have Thai, some Thai restaurants. And the smell I was getting probably from the Thai restaurant. So you can see some graffiti or street art on the wall. And let's look at this side of the wall. And you can see some restaurants on the other side of the street. So there's a very old, looks like a very old building here. And I'm not even sure if this building is operational anymore. You can see that you know this building is very old and it's falling apart. Stretch on Avenue. Stretch on Avenue on right and left side. If I'm not mistaken, this is the first gas station I have come across this far. So if you're in downtown, it's very rare that you're going to find any gas station. There are two or one remaining. They are building condos on them. So some residential complex here. Macy Street. Nice place to unwind and relax. Crawford Street is the next one. Short Street coming up. So I'm using separate audio system to capture the sound. And it works very well, but you might hear my breathing noise sometimes or even my footsteps. But the noise quality should be exceptional. So we just walk here for a few seconds, cross the street and some on the other side of the Shaw Street. A 
looks like a dead end straight on this side. food smell again so there has to be a restaurant nearby although you can see a Tim Hortons but the food smell I got actually felt like Asian smell so must have been something else so another Tim Hortons So I have, looks like I have come a long way, so probably I was walking a little fast. And those buildings should be in the Liberty Village area. So the front of the street is Sudbury Street. Continue a little further. Okay, I see there is an underpass. So let's go up to the other side of the underpass. And then we'll decide whether we should continue for today or stop. Big I have the feeling that for instance should be nearby, but not that sure if the next street. I find it hard to believe that I walk in this bar. Actually, I was walking longer than one hour, but the video was one hour, or close to one hour. So I'm going to show you different street, both sides. So definitely, you can do another video from here, going for the end of time. But this is different street. On my way back. I'm going to take the car, which is a big 504, up to Bathurst. And let's pause the street. So you can see this uh, underpass is fairly old. And a glimpse of the street other side. Street going further west, and this is King Street going east from this location. And we just came or walked along that from that road. So, thank you for watching this video. There will be more videos coming up, so I'll see you shortly. So I haven't walked this long continuously before I started doing vlogging videos and surprisingly I never had any problems the day after. Uh, for example, pain in the legs or thighs or anything. So it looks like, you know, the body absorbed walking pretty well and it's also very health friendly. It's very healthy to walk and do video at the same time. 
if you're passing the underpass and a bit dark here and if you look at the wall you can tell that this is a very old establishment probably survived hundreds of years And on the left there's a nice shopping plaza which I'll try to show you a bit better once I'm on the corner. Here on the right, left. The reason the street car was honking because the truck is not supposed to cross when the roads are uh, doors are open. But it could be this person is not from Toronto. That doesn't really know the rules. But if police was here, he'd get a huge ticket. So Jefferson Avenue coming up. And looks like there's a big building or something on the left coming up. So Let's see if you can walk up to that point. And a glimpse of the left side. There's Kennedy and Tyre on the right, and one goes into the Portland Street. And people are lining up most probably for Kennedy and Tyre pickup. Go faster away. And let's continue a little bit more. There's something a dome like on the left. I'm not sure what it is. So the building I was thinking what it is it looks like a very old building. And I should be very close to one hour video. So we can pass that building on the left. So Fraser Avenue is coming up. And I can read the name, it's called the Carpet Factory. And I can see a chimney, so I'm not sure if this is still a real carpet factory or it's just the name of the building. But you can tell that this is really a very old building. And this is the Fraser Avenue. So the next traffic light, 
not sure what street is that. We can stop there today. So that's going to be about close to one hour video today. I don't see any reason to cut or edit anything. So this is going to be a totally uncut video, continuous one hour, one hour of vlogging. So the small street here is Moat Avenue. It's on the left. So I was assuming Dufferin Street has to be close somewhere. And it looks like the street coming up is Dufferin Street. So that's where we're gonna end our video. Cup said pick up for pet food. So right now I'm I find it hard to believe that I walked this far for one hour. Actually, I was walking longer than one hour, but the video recorded for one hour, or close to one hour. So I'm going to show you different street, both sides. So definitely you can do another video from here going further another time. But this is Dauphin Street, which is a big street. And let's cross the street. And a glimpse of Dauphin Street, other side. This is King Street going farther west and this is King Street going east from this location and I just came or walked along that from that way. So thank you for watching this video. There will be more videos coming up so I'll see you shortly.